Hello? Check one, two. There. Got to remember to turn myself up. Ho! Huh? There. Now I can hear myself. <laughs> well, um, I'm trying. I'm trying a new hair thing. Um, I've got a high pony, and I put my bangs in the high pony. So I just wanted to show you all how big my forehead actually is got a really huge brain so um yeah it's I've noticed um some people in my family also have this it's very genetic and uh yeah I'm proud I'm proud of my large forehead Uh, I use some hippie moisturizer on my face, and when it dries out, I just spray it with water. Kind of like a, a beached whale or something, just trying to keep my, my dolphin skin moisty. I can't see the chat. I think I always have to click something. Oh, yeah, I see it. We're in business. I can see the chats. Hmm. Well, yesterday I was feeling dancey. I'm kind of on a mission to learn how to make dance music. Um, but rather than studying, I'd rather just grope my way blindly into it. Inventing a new genre on the way, hopefully. Um, there it is. This is my song, No Matter. And it's kind of, it's definitely a work in progress. I don't have the words, but I will just wing it. I might have them on my phone. Let me grab my phone. Nick, hi. I wanted to call you Nikki. I don't know if we're there yet. <laughs> I don't know if you like that name. But Nikki, hi. <laughs> Are we at the pet names level? I definitely, I have like 25 pet names for my closest loved ones, my pets. Hmm. Tell me how you're doing. What have you been up to? What's your... I know you, you like making music. Have you been making any lately? Oh my gosh, my phone is so slow. I just ordered a new one, so... It's really on its last leg. Once it learned I was getting a new one, it got, like, way slower. Leave the water on standby. Okay, well, no lyrics for this song today. We'll just wing it. Thank you. 
The lyrics I was singing was, hear me out, I hear you, we have the strength to see this through. Sometimes I like to play a song without the lyrics and just see which lyrics actually stick with me as far as being the most memorable and most meaningful and and passionate. Uh, I don't like showing my belly button. There we go. (laughs) Which means I'm just like showing off the bottom of my rib cage which is silly um yeah I have a very long torso so that is why I like to accentuate um pretend I have a normal torso by with a crop top and high-waisted pants full disclosure I don't just love belly dancing although I probably do um I just need to let go of my inhibitions Mm -hmm. I'm glad you liked that one Nick I'm glad you're doing okay. Yeah, I really can't complain. About yesterday at 7 p.m., I was like, I feel really good for no apparent reason. Like, sometimes I do all the self-care stuff when I still feel like crap. But I think I got through some, like, emotional waves or something. Um, I ate an egg the other day, which I'm kind of intolerant to eggs. But there's a lot of really good stuff for you in there. So that cheered me up. But just feeling happy and I'm not going to overthink it. You know, it might be my cycle. That's a thing for girls. I'm always moving towards fertility until menopause comes for me. Yeah, that's my silly joke of the day. Um, I feel like I always talk about food, somewhat obsessed with food. Not sorry about it. Food is important. Oh, Mickey, that's okay that you're you're working. Um, are you just listening in the background while you work and you can't like give me a hundred compliments because I will not bloom and grow without those, but I will not wither and die without your <laughs> positive feedback. <laughs> but I'm really happy that you tuned in, even if it's just for a second. It's really sweet of you. Thank you. Got that song stuck in my head now. Mm -mm, Bump, 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 bump. I don't know what it means that I like really repetitive music. I'm probably a bit of a simpleton. Uh, No, some of the most famous songs are repetitive. I always try to remind myself. It's not a bad thing. Oh, I just remembered last night when I was... 
um, feeling really good. Sometimes, a lot of times when I feel really good, I get inspired to write music. That's when my muse touches down. Uh, I wonder if I can remember what I wrote. I was like humming some chords to myself while I brushed my teeth. That's got some potential. Mm, I'm proud of myself. I wrote some chord progressions. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yes. Hi, Michael. Thanks for being here. Yes, I hope you enjoy um, the very behind the scenes nature of live streaming. It seems at first I just wanted it to be like a show, like very glamorous. But it seems like the more I go, the more the curtain is pulled aside and you can see my little song zygotes, watch them grow up, <laughs> become bigger than me, hopefully, <laughs> live longer than me. Uh, well, Mickey, I saw that you're going to check out the live stream tomorrow. That's totally legit. That's part of why I like filming this before the weekend really gets started, just in case people want to watch it over the weekend. Um, obviously, I'm very honored that you would want to watch me just like tool around in my little workshop laboratory on your weekend, but hey, there's a lot of crap out there, so I'm happy to provide something mildly crappy, but also entertaining and hopefully beautiful and uh, transcendent at times. <laughs> okay, my number one patron of all time, Nancy Schumann, I have no idea if she's watching, but maybe I'll send her this uh, live stream just in case. Um, she reached out this week with a song request and I hadn't heard it before. Well, I, w I wasn't familiar with it, but it was from the soundtrack of like one of my favorite movies of all time, Brother, Son, Sister, Moon. So I thought that was a huge coincidence, but I know we both love Donovan. She loves him more than me. So um, it's under, it's also understandable. Um, and there is a song from that soundtrack that gets stuck in my head rather regularly. It's a great song to sing to yourself while you're working on something. It's like very calming and reassuring that if you just put one foot in front of the other and do it with the right intention and just stay centered, that 
it's going to be a good thing in the world. Um, it's called Little Church Song. The movie is about the life of St. Francis. He's probably the coolest saint. He was like besties with all the animals and poor people. And yeah, I feel like if I was going to join a church, I think a San, Fr- San Franciscan uh, church would be cool. Um, yeah, that's a whole nother conversation, but just like, I'm wondering, does humanity need religion in order to like, w- did religion come to be because we stopped living in tribes and started living in societies and without religion, do we devolve back into tribal, uh, habits and yeah, it's something I think about. So As I play this song and use some religious words, know that I am religious curious. I'm not practicing any religion, but I do. I believe in heaven as something extra dimensional that we can't see, that is beautiful, that is love. So that's what I mean when I say heaven, I guess. And it's also a state I think we can achieve of bliss and love and happiness in the earthly plane. And I think it's a worthy pursuit to try to find those states within everyday life. decided to I'm not going to loop everything like if I can play something I should probably play it dream to be take your time go slowly do a few things but do them well heartfelt joys grow purely day by Stone by stone, fill your secrets slowly. If you do, you'll grow too. You'll see God's glory. If you want your, no, if you want to live life free, take your time, go slowly, do a few things, but do them well. Grow purely Day by day Stone by stone Build your secrets slowly Day by day 
He'll grow too. He'll know heaven's glory. If you want your dream to be, take your time, go slowly. Do a few things, but do them well. Heartfelt choice, grow purely. If you want to live life free, take your time, go slowly. Do a few things, but do them well. Time goes slowly. Do a few things, do them well. Heartfelt joys go through. If you want your dream to be, take your time, go slowly. Do a few things, but do them well. Heartfelt joys go
thank you for indulging me on that. I know sometimes the song goes on for a long time, but I'm like, oh, I want to try that. And then I want to try that. Um, this one piece of hair is here. We need to <laughs> now I look like I have a mohawk. Maybe that's what's weird about my forehead. Like there should be hair like a little bit further down. Oh, well, it's so shiny. It's on full display. It's like a full moon. <laughs> Oh, yay. I got four fires burning. Fires in your hearts. Thank you for the positive feedback. That felt heavenly. Uh, Maddie keeps showing me this musician. I think her name is something Barwick. Juliana Barwick, maybe. And she does weird extremely ethereal uh heavenly harmonies yeah so i'm trying to let myself just surrender into that sound and be like it's cool i'm doing what that cool chick is doing um, yeah it's nice that i can make my own little heavenly choir yay digital age hey you gotta call it when you see it when when those tech tools are making your life better and not just making it worse got to give credit where it's due ah thank you mark i can't remember if i already said hello but thank you for being here hi oh the dolphin needs spraying Simulating Irish Mist. Well, those were the songs that I planned on playing today. I don't know if anyone has any requests for my repertoire. Um, I feel like I might have missed a comment. Oh, somebody, I don't know. I can't see who um, said they like my definition of heaven. Glad to know I'm not the only one. Um, yeah. That leaves it open to... For everyone to use it. It's not just a, a Christian term, but I think we've hopefully all experienced a little taste of heaven. Hopefully in that song. Um, yes. Now I feel really good. I think we did. We, um, we vibrated the cells harmoniously. Ah, I may have taken some really long, slow exhales while I was singing that increases probably my nitric oxide levels which is really good for your body um yeah there's this exercise you can do where you inhale let's do it together so we inhale three exhale five and then hold it and don't like force it or anything but just see how long you can gently hold it and you might notice your nose starts clearing and your brain starts clearing and if you do it five times in a row with like maybe a minute in between each round it can um oh my god there's a lawnmower going outside ah. um it can raise your overall levels of co2 if you're a mouth breather very important but even if you're not um it's really good for you it like helps all your tissues in all the ways the guy who discovered how great nitric oxide is got a Nobel Prize. So you are welcome. That, I forget what that's calling. Oh, called it's called Buteyko breathing. You can look it up. B-U-T-E-Y-K-O. All right, Mountain Walk. That was kind of in the back of my mind because it kind of goes with these, that song. And I know it's a beloved YouTube hit. Yay, my YouTube hit. Um... I was thinking I might try to play it on piano because it's not hard to play if you want to play along. <laughs> it's just C, G, G7. And then at the end, it's C, F, G, G7. Yeah, pretty basic. Someone asked me that in the YouTube comments. I was like, you're in luck. It's very easy. If you know how to play those chords. Playing those chords is not easy if you've never played them before. Um, I might be teaching a guitar lesson again soon. So I gotta get, gotta get the chord brain back. Mm. 
Mm. That's a little sitar. God, that mower is really loud. I could use my soundproofing curtains, but something tells me that's not going to cut it. Can you guys hear that mower? It's being very aggressive. It sounds like they are mowing a tree over. <sighs> May all the trees be safe. Okay, not all the trees. Sometimes you gotta thin them out. I just always feel sad when they cut down a tree. I feel like you should have to have a permit. Or we could just make a religion that worships trees and then people would be ethically obliged to think twice before they chop a tree down. I mean, most people probably think twice. But do they feel sad? I do. Thank you so much for being here as I ramble and find my way around my keyboard. Well, I can't move my mic. It is stuck under a bunch of equipment. Hey, you caught. Hey, you caught me. Standing in the air. have to think hard about a seven chord. Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but maybe it's inspiring if you struggle with chords also. Hey, you caught me standing in the air. I 
I'm not connected. <laughs> my keyboard isn't connected to my looper. It's sad. Drum solo. <laughs> Hope you liked that remix. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mark. That makes me feel better because I am, I don't know if you can see the little wings on my butt, but I am flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> You've heard of Mercury with the wings on his feet. I got wings on my butt. <laughs> um. Over here, correcting myself up with butt jokes. Um, yeah, that was fun. Thank you guys. Uh, I liked playing it on piano. I don't know if I have played that song on piano before, but it was pretty easy. I grew up playing piano, so ain't no thing for me. Um, that was very pleasant. That song doesn't have repeating lyrics, but I've always found it really easy to remember. I think because it's like a walk, it's describing a walk. So like one thing comes after the other. I guess, of course, the end has the kind of repeating chorus choir. So I made up for not having a chorus elsewhere. Aw, thank you, Nick. I'm so glad you enjoyed that. And Mark. Oh, fun. I'm glad you enjoyed you. <laughs> you must have liked seeing my drum. You can, like, watch me thinking while I'm like, oh, yeah, let's do this. And I'm like, oh, let's loop it. And I'm like, nope, that's not going to work today. Uh, I do want to set it up so I can do some more live looping. doesn't make sense not to do live looping because I can and I it's fun. But uh, with all the pedals I have, I'm, I've kind of jerry-rigged it. God bless Jerry. What would we do without him? But... The way that it's jerry-rigged. Well, I could just pipe everything through the loop pedal. Then I have a little less control um, of the individual levels. But honestly, I have control here. Yeah, I'll have to keep thinking about that. Maybe, maybe next week I'll try some live looping and see how I like it and how you like it. All the technology, all the time. Except also not and organic and t turn off your phone well what time are we at I, uh, let's see my phone is still good for one thing it's my watch 1 30 that's that's an hour folks um yeah i've been distracted this week i had a lot of things on my to-do list that weren't musical so i've been going well they were related to music yesterday i went and talked to talked to a guy about pedals I've kind of been embracing that I don't want to do everything on the computer. I really like the tactile nature. I think humans are more designed for that. And it just, I don't know, feels like kind of retro and fun. I feel like a 90s chick. Like just playing with all my pedals and having a good old time on my little playground. The only thing is i'm getting a lot of pedals now um and i'm thinking about adding more and it's just when will it stop but that's why people get pedal boards i guess so i guess i'll have to figure out how to do that but i have like multiple pedals for multiple instruments and so i guess i'll have a few pedal boards and i'll be that i'll be that pedal person i don't know i don't identify with that but that seems to be where we're going 
No, actually, I could stop soon. I could stop. I'm almost happy with my sound. <sighs> I think it could be fun to hook up my auto harp sometime. Sheer laziness um, has prevented me. Um, yeah, it would be one more thing with one more pedal to plug in. But it would be fun to play that a little bit, especially if I could loop it with my effects. That would be fun. See, now I feel motivated to do it. Got to make it fun or else I have a very hard time getting myself to do it. It's probably my greatest flaw in adulting is, um, oh, when 500 GF. Mwah. Mwah means less in French. Less talking, more singing. Is that what you mean? <laughs> Uh, I wish I had another song for you. Love song comes to mind. I've been really enjoying playing that one. Or I'm kind of hungry for lunch. Um, let's do it. Just roll, roll quick. I finally found where I had written it. It was like written in really small under something I scratched out, so I found an eraser. And now I can easily find it. good to move like that. It's like a nice stretch. I invite you to stretch your back with some glidey slidey moves. Move those hips even if you're a dude. Give your love There's nothing more 
Well, that was a special journey. <laughs> Pico? That's a really cute name. Pico! <laughs> I was reading your comment over and over, just like playing, enjoying myself, looking up, being like, I love this. I'm like, yeah, I love this too. <laughs> I guess that's the nice thing about a written compliment. You can recycle it. <laughs> Uh, over here hydrating non-stop I fully ascribe to the theory that humans lived primarily in water for a while like we we emerged from the ocean we did some land stuff and then we were like actually I like the water better kind of like hippos and um who else? Who else went back to the water? Did all the mammals that live in the water go back to the water? Whales? I don't know. You guys need to fact check me, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I've heard that um, there's a theory that I described to you that our hairs on our body are aquadynamic. And um, that would explain why we're mostly hairless. Because we're like dolphin bodied, but like our heads were above water. We must have been in the water a long time because like otters are fully clothed but maybe they have their own thing going anyways i miss living in the water not that i ever have but it was it sounds wonderful and i was going to the gym every day and it was awesome and it made my day but my skin didn't like it's like a part salt part chlorine pool i started to have like crepe paper skin of an old lady so now i try to just go once a week in the summer, I try to get out, but you definitely got to go like a half hour to find some quality swimming holes slash lakes. So I didn't get out as much as I'd like because I don't like going that far just to go to nature. It's like, hmm, I think I'll burn a bunch of fossil fuels to go to nature. No, thanks. But sometimes it's worth it, I guess. It's a uh, if somebody else wants to go with me, I'm like, all right, let's do this. Let's carpool. Oh, thank you, Nick. Glad you enjoyed. I guess I've played that one just as much as May It Be. I was like, oh, I better not play May It Be every week. <laughs> People might be getting sick of that, but um, you know I could. That was a threat. Uh, I'm so glad you enjoyed. I'm enjoying this live stream, feeling comfy. And um, yeah, it's nice to perform regularly because then you don't have to rehearse as much or like yeah it's like the songs aren't as rusty it's not as hard so then you can play around more and um, it's just splash in the, s in the sound waves I guess music is my way of going back to the sea <laughs> I love that new bumper sticker Okay, well, I think I'm tapped out musically, but thank you so much for being here. It just makes my day, obviously. If I was singing to no one, I'd be like, hmm, sad. So it's really cool that you guys keep showing up and hopefully you're friends-ish now. Um, yeah, I have a little Facebook group, Annabeth VIP. I should probably change that to Anmara. But, um... Yeah, eventually I would like that to be like a little hub of actual community where like we can get to know each other a little better. But it's on Facebook, which gives me the pangs, the pains of Facebook. Um, yeah, but ideally we could meet in person, but we don't live in an ideal world. And I'm glad we found each other. And that we can gather in this way um, makes my day and hopefully makes your day better. So thank you again and hope you enjoy the fall. It's a nice day. I need to crack a window open because it's actually sunny and nice here in Virginia. Uh, Western Virginia. That's where the Shenandoah Valley is. I like to say I'm from the Shenandoah Valley because it's such a beautiful name. Okay, um, TGIF, y'all. Mic drop. <laughs> Be well.